So the first part of every project begins with cutting the quilt to the size and shape I need and then either darning or patching areas that are tattered or torn. This um, tote bag is uh, really large and I need a piece that's approximately 25 inches wide by 39 inches tall. This first cut is a rough cut. I try to get it to the approximate measurements and then I fine tune it um, as I go along. So now it's time to do some patching. This quilt had a lot of damage, so um, had damage on the white parts and the blue triangles as well. So I mm -hmm. needed to salvage some of the other pieces to patch on top as opposed to darning over the rough areas. Um, I've cut out some of the triangles individually and will place them on some of the really damaged triangles. And then in some spots, I was able to cut um, a longer strip of triangles to use those. I just find it easier to pin the patches on top of the place where I need to do the patching as opposed to cutting all the pieces and trying to remember when I get to the sewing machine which patch goes where. You'll notice that this piece is actually larger than the piece that I'm patching. That's okay, I'll be able to trim it off after I finish sewing it on top. So right now I am going to patch over the weak spots with um, patches from the original quilt that are in better shape. Sometimes I do them individually and sometimes I um, cut out a, a longer length. It just depends on how much I have to patch. So that's it for the patching. In the next video, we'll assemble all the other supplies that we need. Mm -hmm.